Hey, what's up, y'all? It's your girl, Fonty Sister. Um, I'm about to get ready to do the crochet braid. I've seen it all over YouTube, so I wanted to check it out. It seems like a good protective style. Um, I don't think I'm going to be able to cornrow my hair the way I want it to be. I want it to be neat and tight. So, um, And I'm also going to need synthetic hair. So I'm going to have someone braid it for me, and then I'll just show you guys the process as I go along. Some people have said it takes all day, two days. Some people have said four hours. Some people have said two hours. So I'm hoping I can get this in and done um, pretty quickly because I have some place to go tomorrow. So um, here goes. All right, I just finished washing my hair. Um, I've been using Shea Moisture products. So I did the shampoo and the conditioner. Um, and basically, in the other video that I did for my full mohawk bun, I used um, avocado oil to stretch and, you know, just blow dry it, but I actually like it. I like it with just it being a little bit damp from the shower and just blow drying. I think it comes out a little bit better. So right now I'm going to get my hair braided. I'm probably going to add a little bit of hair to it just so that um, it lasts a little longer, being that my hair it's thin. I don't want, you know, the hair to come off. This is my first time doing crochet braids. So, um, I'll be back after I finish getting my hair cornrowed. All right. Hey, everybody. So, I actually started off um, with blow-dried hair previously, and I was going to have it done. I got it braided with my natural hair. It didn't work out as I thought it wouldn't because my hair is just too soft and a little bit too thin. It's not as thick. Um... To do something like that especially to put the hair through and crochet it through so I kind of got discouraged I said I'm gonna just do this another time so I'm about to go out I'm kind of chancing it I hope I'll be able to get it done I know some people say an hour and a half some people say the whole day I hope I can get this done in like two hours two and a half hours tops um, and then we're gonna do it like that so I had um, my stylist who um, braided my natural hair last time I really begged her to um, put some hair in there so that's what we did um or that's what she did so it's cornrowed and I'm going to attempt to install the crochet braids right now so I'll be back periodically just to kind of show you how it's going and hopefully I'll be done in the next two two and a half hours all right thanks for watching all right it's been about two hours maybe a little bit over two hours um this is two and a half bags of hair. I just have a little bit left to do, but I have to go out. I have somewhere to be. So I'm just going to like style it, maybe put a little hat on, whatever, whatever. And then I'll just finish this up tomorrow. And then I'll show you guys the after effect once I, um, you know, once I add more hair and then after I cut it just to kind of make it look a little bit more natural. Um, so yeah, I'll see you guys tomorrow because I got to go. All right, so I'm about to go out, um, put a little bit of makeup, not too much. I don't like wearing too much makeup, but um, just a little bit of something, something. I decided to cut it a little bit so it didn't look too weird. Um, and as you can see, I still have to add more hair. That's why this side is a little bit flatter than this side. This side has more body, but I like it so far. I can't wait to finish up tomorrow and just give it more volume. And um, it's cute. This is a good protective style, so I'll let you guys know what it looks like tomorrow. All right. All right, everyone, it's the next day. Um, I came back from going out and kind of started the side part um, that needed to add more hair. And then I just finished up everything today um, just to make it fuller and make sure all the braids had some hair on it. So this is the outcome. Um, I'm definitely going to cut it and make it look more realistic. I may do the bang thing, you know, just cut some bangs. I don't know yet, but I'm going to play with it. And then I will come right back um, and I'll let you guys know what products I used um, as far as kind of smoothing out the curls and um, the kind of hair. I cut a lot of it off. I just kept on cutting. I was getting cut happy, but um, I like the way it came out. To me, it looks a little bit, you know, more natural than all out of that, at least on me. So I like it like this. I'm going to rock it for maybe two months. I try to stretch it three months just in case uh, I can't maybe rock it to the new year and then do a different curl pattern or something else. Um, but I like it. 
And this is how it came out. Yep. So it's like a cute little curly bob. Um, you know, I could do a little part if I want. Do something like this. Or I could do more with the bangs. And there you have it. So here are my crochet braids. My little curly bob. Um, and um, let me show you the hair that I used. Alright, so the hair that I used was by Free Tress Braid. Um, it's the Water Wave 22 inches. And I used the color 1. Um, I could have use 1B a 2 but I just wanted it kind of jet black so this is good for me um, I use three and a half packs and um, I have some extra packs for next time if I want to go a little bit longer or maybe I've seen some people do like braids coming and then the curls coming like that um, cornrows coming and then the curls coming so yeah and this was $5.99 at my you know local beauty supply store and it's not bad. You're paying like, I don't know, like $30 just to get your hair done. So I love it. Um, I'm going to rock this for a while. I still want my hair to grow. I'm still probably going to get my locks. But I just want a little bit more length um, when I do get my locks. So I'm just playing around with styles and, you know, textures and things like that. Um, also, well, it comes, it's 22 inches, so I cut it in half. And then I took like the curly strand and then broke it into maybe like two or three strands and then crocheted it in. I put each strand um, into, you know, crocheted it into my hair, into the cornrows. What I was using was the Talia Wajid um, crinkle and curls just to kind of, you know, soften it up. So the, the hair is pretty soft, you know, it feels very real. It shakes, it bounces and that type of thing. So um, some of this scissors and the hair and that was about it and the crochet tool of course i got this this is the crochet tool i used um i got this from hobby lobby so i'm sure you can get it from any craft store you know um that's near you ac more or anything like that but um when i went to go get my hair um i found this also and it was 99 cents this is about a dollar i don't know dollar 25 dollar 50 something like that uh, a little bit sturdier handle. This is plastic, but I'm sure it does the job. I just bought an extra one just in case because I was scared maybe my break. Um, I didn't want to be stuck with my hair halfway. So this is my backup, but this worked very well. Hobby Lobby. Um, yeah, so these are my crochet braids. Um, and I'll put pictures at the end. Thank you.